how to create and sell Shopify themes for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating and selling your own Shopify themes. So let's get started. Now, what are Shopify themes? How do you get them? How do you sell them? And how do you make them? Well, what is a Shopify theme? Well, whenever you're building a store on Shopify, a theme is applied on default. This is the basic structure or code or liquid of that particular store. You can access a store's theme by clicking on online store in your Shopify dashboard. Then you're going to see your themes. Now, by default, we have the DOM theme applied and we can click on these three dots and we can download the theme file. We can click on send email and the email is the file is going to be sent as an email in our mailbox. We can click on customize to customize the store. But if we want to customize deeper elements within the theme, we can click on these three dots and then click on edit code to customize the actual code of the theme. We can also edit the default theme content within that. Now, Shopify, if you scroll down, offers you some free themes provided by Shopify. However, if you click on visit theme store over here, you will see several different themes that are available for purchase and some free themes as well. So as you become a Shopify partner, you're allowed to create your own themes and sell them. So you can see there are several different themes available. And if you're a developer, you can obviously create your own themes as you prefer them. Now, themes can vary by price, industry, catalog size, and features. Some themes may have things such as appointment booking systems integrated into them, review sections integrated into them, portfolio tabs integrated into them. So it really is variable on what type of themes are available. Depending on the niche, the industry, it can be really different. And if you feel like there is a space for a certain type of theme that currently is not available in the Shopify store, you can definitely elevate your your product by making it stand out. So you know how to develop a theme, you have the basic tools that you need. How do you sell them on Shopify? Well, to do this, you need to become a Shopify partner. Now, for this, simply head on over to shopify.com slash partner. Shopify has a partner program and this is built for business growth. This increases revenue and makes the business future proof. You can join as a partner and you are able to unlock new revenue streams, access growing demand, and leverage rapid innovation. You guys can see they have a service partner and a tech partner. Service partners are going to help businesses build and migrate stores, identify new areas for growth, system integrators, consultancies, agencies, and then you have a tech partner. So for independent software vendors, developers of store themes, apps, and you're going to be becoming a technology partner by providing your own customized themes on Shopify. You can explore this technology track and view all the different things you can do along alongside just becoming a tech partner and alongside just promoting or creating new themes for the Shopify store. So you build apps for Shopify, you can build custom integrations, improve the app quality. You also have uh, roadmap previews, continuing education, early access to product releases, referrals from Shopify, app store listing and marketing resources. So head on over to shopify.com slash partners and then click on become a partner. Once you do that, you can choose from two options. Either you can create and set up a new partner organization or join an existing organization. I'm going to set up a new partner organization and you're going to choose the main focus of your Shopify partner. So what is the tool that you're going to be providing to Shopify? Well, for that, we are going to be building themes for uh, the Shopify theme store. And then I'm going to click on next. We're going to enter our business information. Once we have done that, we're going to create our partner organization. So we're going to call this Spencer, the CEO. Then we're going to add the address, then the city. Then we are going to complete our zip code and our phone number to create our partner organization. Once we've done that, we are going to be led onto our next page, which is our partner homepage. Now, 
In your partner homepage, this is what the basic dashboard is going to look like. You are going to see your business overview. Then you have your stores, any stores that are linked in your account as a Shopify partner. You have referrals, apps, themes, and Shopify POS. Now, you can request access to a store managed by a client and you can also create a developmental store for any theme that you create. Ideally, for any theme you create, you do want to create a developmental store because the development store actually allows customers or, you know, Shopify users to see what type of theme is it, what are the features and what is, you know, the ideal display of that theme. So it's really important to create that with any theme that you are creating. Now, in your Shopify partner section, if you go into themes over here, you guys can see move fast with smart tooling. You can explore some of the tools Shopify provides you. You guys can see for any niche from food to fashion, they are accepting themes. You can streamline your workflow with an online store and tooling like the Shopify GitHub integration. Now, to get your themes on the Shopify store or the Shopify platform, you're going to click on submit a theme and Shopify does review any theme that is present on their marketplace. That is why they only have around 200 to 250 themes because they are very, very conscious about the quality of the theme. So you're going to develop your theme file and I, as an example, am going to show you guys what the theme file is going to look like by showing you guys the Dawn theme file that is sent by Shopify to you. So you guys can see your theme export is ready to download. Just click on your theme export. It is now downloaded. It's going to be in the form of a zip file. Once you open up your zip file, you're going to have configuration, templates, snippets, sections, locales, layouts, and assets. So click on add a file and once you do that, you're going to open up the zip file over here. Once you add that, you're going to agree to their terms of service before you actually submit a theme file. Uh, you guys can see themes that don't meet the minimum requirements are going to be rejected without a full review. Now. You can click on all theme submission requirements to view the minimum requirements of any theme in a Shopify store before you start developing it. So obviously some things are going to be pretty basic. Some things might be a bit more advanced that you might have not have thought of initially. You have the right licenses for all the code used in your theme. You have read the Shopify partner agreement in accordance with the PPA. This theme will be sold exclusively on the Shopify theme store. You cannot sell this theme at other places if you are uploading it on Shopify. So some of the basic requirements include the theme store exclusivity, uniqueness from other themes, so the code base must have meaningful differences, the identity of your theme submission should be unique, it should have a clear industry focus, so which industry is it targeting, and a merchant shouldn't be able to purchase your theme that isn't listed in the Shopify theme store and then customize the settings so the themes are identical to each other. It needs to have certain sections, so sections everywhere. These are the basic features, discounts, accelerated checkout buttons, faceted search filtering, gift cards, focal points, social sharing, country selection, language selection, multi-level menus, newsletter forms, um, pickup availability, related product recommendations, complementary products rich product media and all of these are basic requirements then you have template sections and blocks and it should support these requirements so you have the theme.liquid json then you also have block and app block requirements and then you also have lighthouse performance and accessibility so make sure to go through all of these recommendations all, all of these minimum requirements and then you are going to submit your theme. Once you submit your theme, Shopify is going to review it. And if they find your theme to be unique and interesting enough, then your theme will be approved and you are going to be able to, you know, uh, start selling your theme on the Shopify store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.